Hey guys, so this is going to be a three-part demonstration of how various uh, microphones, different price points work in just a standard OBS settings. This is the, using OBS Studio with the base settings. Everything is just as it is when you first set up the, the uh, software. So there's no fiddling with the audio quality and we're testing three things. One, what you're hearing right now is the integrated microphone in the webcam for a Logitech C920. It's a standard webcam that's out there now, although it's gotten really overpriced due to COVID and remote work being what it is. So we're seeing a whole lot more like $100 price point cameras, even though really back in 2019, they were 50 bucks. So we're seeing a lot of that going on. We're also seeing a lot of new products coming in. So I have a bunch of the webcams I reviewed on this channel before. But we're also going to compare it to other audio options, one being this Logitech set of headphones. They're wired up. It's all USB. Every option we're looking at today, or what you'll be hearing today, is USB, just to give some kind of apples to apples comparison. So no using high definition 3.5 millimeter jacks or anything similar to that. No um, ghost powered uh, uh, condenser microphones. Everything will be USB based. Next, we're going to be testing out this Amazon Basics condenser microphone. This is in the $50, $60 price range, so if you're looking for a uh, name brand equivalent, again, this is Amazon Basics, so it's kind of a like an off-brand, for lack of a better term, but it's still good quality. I've used it for a long time. Um, this would be like a uh, Yeti Snowball, as far as like the price point, and also similar quality. And finally, we're going to test the high dollar. This is the more expensive option, the $130 Mark Yeti Blue microphone. So we'll test all three of those. You're just going to hear the audio change. This is my voice, nothing different. The lighting is the only thing I've changed around possibly. But overall, this is the entire span and spectrum of, of, of a USB-based microphone options. All right, so first, obviously, this is the C920 integrated microphone, so you've probably already been hearing this, so we'll jump right out of this into the um, integrated headset microphone in just a moment. All right, so this is the integrated headset microphone for the G635 Logitech. It's all wired. This is not Bluetooth, so again, it's USB powered and USB connected. So this is what you can kind of expect as far as sound quality from an integrated microphone. In this case, this is about an $80 headset, but again, the main emphasis on the headset is mostly on the sound quality. So the microphone, they usually tend to cheap out on. So you're probably going to notice this little tinny sounding. It might sound a little metallic in the background. Uh, the way I describe it is I sound like my voice is going through a sewer pipe. That's kind of how I describe it compared to the higher end microphones. All right, so now this is the Amazon Basics Mini Mic. Again, $56 price range. You're gonna see some improvement in the sound quality. It won't be quite as tinny. My hair looks amazing. Um, it won't be quite as tinny. It'll be more true to sound, so you're gonna get more higher quality. It's gonna hit more of the depth of your voice. Again, you won't sound quite so much like you're in a metallic room, just kind of with sound bouncing off of metal. So just be ready for that. And other than that, this is a good this is a good price range, 50, 60 bucks. If you're just trying to do some basic content creation, or if you're wanting to sound a little better, maybe for uh, recorded lectures or doing classroom stuff, just depends on what your needs are. Um, you're definitely going to sound better in this kind of situation than you are with the integrated microphone on either the headset or the C920 head, uh, webcams or some off-brand webcams that are out there that have lower quality microphones. So just be ready for that. Like this is going to be generally the sound it makes. And again, if you see a little green light, that means it's on omnidirectional and real fast, I'll switch it over to uh, what's called the cardioid mic, which means it's picking up the voice coming from directly from me as opposed to just the room around itself. So real fast. All right, you should hear some difference here right now. Um, it'll sound more like there's sound right in front of me. Before, you might have been able to hear ambient noise in the background of the room. Um, it also might peak a little more depending on what the gain set out on your microphone. On this one in particular, the gain is set by a dial right there. But overall, this is the quality you can expect. And again, it might be peaking a little bit. I'll turn it down just a little bit just to make sure it's not over peaking everything. All right, so next we're going to move on over to the Yeti microphone, just so you can kind of get an idea of what doubling the price effectively. So this is like a $60 microphone top end. The Blue Yeti was like $130. So we're talking about over doubling at this point. Um, it's a little bit like comparing beer to champagne. So just be ready for it. Just a very different voice quality. All right, so now this is obviously the Yeti Blue microphone. It's this gigantic thing. It's much heavier duty, much more powerful as a tool for recording goes. Um, if you'll notice my voice here to go back and compare to the other ones, it's the tin or the metal -y sounds gone. Um, if you want to compare, if you've ever used a microphone to record yourself, the biggest complaint you have is like, it doesn't sound like it does in my head. Well, that's true of everybody. Everybody sounds different than I record than they do in their head. This sounds as close, in my opinion, for my own ears, sounds as close to what I sound like in real life 
as I have with any of my other microphones. So you're getting more true to life sound from your ears point, point of view, for lack of a better term. So you will get the best performance out of this. You will get the best recordings out of this compared to the other three. And obviously as the price point goes up, you get better and better options out there. But this is the top end, do it yourself. You want to do something at home. You want to make your voice recording sound better. This is the product. It's about 130 bucks. And as best I can tell, there are some issues with um, stock on places like Amazon. I got this one from b and H. Um, but the main issue is stock. It doesn't seem to be like there's a lot of price inflation going on. I'm still seeing it for like 120, 130, depending on where you get it. And after the holidays, because the rush is over, you're going to see more and more and more lower prices, hopefully. But that this one has not been hyper inflated by COVID or remote work being such a big deal, because I think it's just kind of outside that price point and outside the range of what people are normally using. But again, just better. Con it's just a better condenser mic. Also USB powered, so you're hearing the quality apples to apples everything i've given you so far is usb but this is by far the best option if you're looking for something to sound good when you present it i would highly recommend this for someone who's recording lectures like a teacher even if you are kind of stuck with the integrated microphones if you're recording something you want to make sure it's very very easy to hear and understand this might be a good option for you also the little small condenser mic that i showed last would also be a good option but this is going to be the best overall robust sound that you really want um in particular if you're um I keep bringing up teaching because there's so much remote education still taking place. If you're doing stuff with like chorus or vocals or anything that's like, or music in general, uh, you can change the settings on this microphone to like an all around mic and it'll pick up the sound much better. So your students will understand what it should sound like as opposed to like an integrated laptop microphone is going to be very, very metallic and it's not going to pick up the sound nearly as well. So just be prepared for that. And that's the video guys. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps me out and have a great day.